Hi, my name is Desetra Adams. My background has been in loan modifications. I've been doing loan modifications for the past three years trying to help people save their homes. Well, right now today I am supporting Sherry Honkala. Uh, she is going to be the People's Sheriff. Her um, campaign is a zero evictions platform. Uh, she plans on passing a moratorium where no one will lose their house in the city of Philadelphia while she is sheriff of the city of Philadelphia. Sherry, I think, has the best motto out there is to keep families in their homes to help them keep what they've already purchased. That's the largest you know, purchase you've ever, you will ever make in your life is your house. And then to have someone t take it away from you after they approved it for you and your finances have changed. So I think wholeheartedly what Sherry is doing is just awesome. I have seen people literally lose their house uh, because the paperwork was just totally ignored. The banks kept telling them that we never received your information, even though we know that they had. They had. Uh, not only that, we had copies of faxes where we know that they received the information. We've actually talked to the banks. The banks then asked for documentation that they didn't initially require when they gave them the house. So they initially purchased the house on the stated income, stated asset, because they had fabulous credit. And then now it's time to refinance. They've lost their jobs. Uh, their income has been reduced because now they, their hours have been shortened, or they have an adjustable rate mortgage, and they can no longer afford the house. So what has happened? They come back to the bank, and they ask the bank to help them. The bank says, okay, we'll see what we can do for you. If they're past due, then they'll turn around and they'll make an offer. Oh, we'll, take and ca we'll make you current. We'll take what you're past due. We'll divide that over a period of a year. So now instead of paying us $1,200 a month, can you pay for the next year $1,700 a month because we're going to bring you current? Well, if I couldn't afford $1,250, how am I going to afford $1,700? So, you know, all of the people cannot be lying. They all can't be saying the same thing. And they're coming from different banks. Different institutions are telling them the same thing. They're telling the people over the phone, you know, you're going to lose your house. Uh, you're going to go into foreclosure. Um, sorry, there's nothing we can do. We don't accept unemployment compensation. Or the best one yet is when people are trying to be proactive because they know that they need the help, the lender says, you know what, you need to be three months past due. So now they're telling them to ruin their credit completely, and they've been hanging on to a thread just trying to make a payment. So, I mean, where is the justice in that? There is none. You know, this is supposed to be the American dream, to have your home, to have a roof over your head. You know, you do all the right things, you qualify for the house, and now finances have changed, the economy has changed, and now no one wants to help. Is that justice? No, it's not. Oh, my gosh, let me tell you. Health-wise, I've talked to so many people who said that they are just having so many issues uh, with their health. They're not able to sleep at night. They're fatigued. They're restless. They just, because, you know, when, you, when your house isn't in order, you don't have peace. I mean, I talk to people and I tell them, hey, I already know what you're going through. You got, you know, a knot in your stomach. You probably can't eat. You probably lost weight or you may have gained weight because everybody's emotional stress is going to be different. And, you know, I've talked to people who says, you know, this has caused such a division in my household that, you know, that I lost my job or my hours were cut and we can no longer afford this mortgage. We weren't living beyond our means. We were living day to day. We were doing all the right things. I didn't ask to lose my job. I didn't ask for my hours to be cut, but it happened. So, yeah, it's a strain. It's a strain emotionally. It's a strain financially. It's just a strain all around. You and everyone else should take time out of your busy day to support and, and to vote for Sherry for the simple fact foreclosure, just because it is not happening to you, doesn't mean it does not affect you. When your neighbor's house goes up for foreclosure, your property value will go down. If your neighbor's house has to go through a short sale and you know for a fact your house is worth $250,000 and the bank is now going to short sell that house for one hundred and sixty, dollars well, guess what? When they do a, a comparison of the properties that have sold recently for the new purchase home, for the new person who's purchasing the home, guess what? They're going to go with the lower dollar value. So it will affect you. So it's just because it's not you in foreclosures, it does affect you. I say support Sherry Honkla. She's on the ballot 321, com. Sherry Honkla, she will be the people's sheriff. She is on a platform for no evictions. She wants to do a moratorium, which means no foreclosures for the city of Philadelphia. She's the only woman sheriff who's running on this and the only person running on the platform for the people. She's the person to vote for. Please come out and vote for Sherry Honkala.